Hi, my name is Richard Guerra. I'm in Austin, Texas. I am a Wing Chun instructor and I'm going to demonstrate some simple techniques against simple grabs, usually uh, geared toward the beginner. Thank you. Wing Chun against a grab, a simple grab. Of course, in the street nobody's going to grab you like this. They're going to try to knock your head off. But uh, anyway, what we want to do here, we want to show why Wing Chun does this maneuver from here to this way, to Fuk Sao, from Tan Sao to Fuk Sao. You can turn it around this way. Of course, in this manner, I have all his, all his fingers here and then I'm going to trap this way. And then bring down, bring down the hand, uh, bring down the fingers and it'll bring down the body. Very simple maneuver from here. The other way is he grabs from here and if he pulls me toward him, I go with him. I can do Tan Sao. So on my Tan Sao, my fist is here, he can punch this way. My Tak Sao is here. All right, very simple maneuver. Again, he does the same movement. Now from here, I cut this way across and he's going to release. Very simple maneuver. I pick up and cross. From here, very simple technique. This way, across. I shut down. Again, up, down south, and punch. Very simple. From here, I can go up. He releases the grip. Again, he releases the grip. I go up, I shoot down, and I punch. On this side, he grabs the wrist. I go up, against uh, the thumb, across, and punch. From here, very simple technique here. Step, hit the elbow or crush the elbow, push down, and then of course, strike, strike the, the side of the, of the ear lobe, or the ear, all right, both hands, from here he pulls, pulls me, I go with him, into a tansau, pull, and then I push, let me try it again, so it comes this way, he pulls me, I go with him, Basic one on the pull. Double, double palm strikes. All right. In this sequence here, he grabs both hands. He crisscrosses them from here. So I'm trapped. However, there's certain things that I can do. From here, I can come across, and he's going to release. All I did was this. Do it again. Yes. From here, pulls. I push. Eight seconds. Okay, that concludes this sequence of simple maneuvers from Wing Chun. This is Wing Chun 101. This is basically for the beginner. I want to do the techniques uh, slower. And they're basic uh, Pak Sao or slaps and uh, uh, counters, counter movements that I would do and that have worked for me in the past and for my students. Okay, so uh, against the slap, he's coming here. I don't want to do this. Why? Because I'm wide open for a knee strike or a kick. He shoots up right there. Another thing I don't want to do is if I do this movement like this, you see a lot of guys do this, especially the Kali guys, they do this and then they stick their head into the opponent like this. They're going to get hit in the head. You don't want to do that. It's better that if the slap's coming in, step in. In and across. Again. In and across. Again. In and across. Very simple. All right. With this side, same thing here. He strikes. I don't want to do this. This far. I'm wide open. If I do a tan sao, my tan sao is going to turn into the opponent. Turn into the opponent. But as I turn, I step in and I take his space. Okay. So we do it once again. Okay. Let's do it again. The tan sao moves in. Here I step. Again, I step in, right here, and I take his space. It's a simultaneous movement. All right, with the pox out, he slaps. I slap here, again. I want to go inside the opponent's arm, inside the, uh, the elbow. I don't want to pox out up here, throw a punch. I want to do this. The reason for that is because I need to be inside the center of his body to take over his space. So as he's coming in, I'm moving in, taking away his space. Okay, so one more time, I 
take off with his leg. His, his, he can still punch me. And I can hit him. So we go slow. We don't want to have to go into, we don't have to go fast. We're uh, taking our time with his movement. So now let's say he's coming across over to the head, over to my head. I don't want to do this. This is not a block in karate. It is a break. So we'll talk about that some other time. However, his strike's coming over my head. I want to do mansao. So it'll slide off. Does it again. And I want to go right into his face and rip it. Okay, let's try again. I'll go across into tansao and break it. And throw it. And cut. Okay, this may be a little bit also kind of general, kind of basic stuff. You guys that have been doing it for a long time, like I have, like 45 years and stuff like that, you may laugh at this and say, well, this is, looks ridiculous. However, for the beginner, they may, uh, it's going to help them. And this is why in a real fight, it's unpredictable. There's no stances. It's chaotic. However, for the Wing Chun fighter, he's going to be scientific. So as soon as the movement comes in, I can go inside and pox out. Tan out, pox out. Very simple. Again, I go simple and push. Push with both palms. Okay? Now he moves in. As soon as my opponent steps toward me, I've already break, broken his knee. I kicked and broke his knee. Okay, as soon as he, as, as soon as he makes a step toward me, his knee is broken. So this movement is going to be here. One, two. One, two, three is one. One count. Not three counts. All right? Again. One movement. Very simple. Again. One move. Okay, we do something else. Uh, let's say he's going to be just coming like a wild man. You seen that before in the movie, in a uh, real fight? Move in. The Wing Chun fighter steps in and punches right inside the center line. Okay, he punches again like a wild man. And I step forward. And let him come at you, you throw the long bridge out. And you make a connection with your bridge arms. Okay, very simple maneuver. Very simple, very basic. 